Hello everyone, welcome back to Shaggy Pocket, and today we're going to be benchmarking an AMD FX 6300 with the MSI GTX 1050 Ti 4GB overclocked edition. You can overclock the 1050 Ti a little more, but I decided not to because it is pretty hot in my room, and the maximum temps are already pretty high. So all we're going to do here is look at some benchmarks and decide whether this uh, setup of CPU and GPU is a good combination, or should we change it? I'm currently running it on a 120 millimeter um, radiator for the CPU. It's an AIO, the Corsair H55, and the GPU is just simply its its normal air cooling. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the benchmarks after this intro. Okay, so you all seen the benchmarks, and all I can say is it's a pretty good combination. The FX 6300 can be easily found for around $50 on eBay, and the MSI GTX 1050 Ti is a very budget option for a GPU. And as you can see, this is a very budget option for a PC. But, I must say a few things before you guys decide to go out and buy this. The FX 6300 is on the older AM3 Plus socket, and the GTX 1050 Ti is a good GPU though. Why I can't completely recommend this is for this reason. There's not, uh, there's not a great upgrade path. Um, uh, what I mean is, basically the, the, the highest CPU you can upgrade to is the 9590, and even that CPU is not the best you can get out there, and it's pretty hot. So, I, I can't really recommend this. All I can say is that this is a good option if you're going to look at eBay every hour and look for used prices and get some really good deals like $50 for a 6300 or like $80 for a 1050 Ti or even $100 for that, then yeah, I guess I can recommend it. But otherwise, if you're going to buy it new, all I can say is I recommend you wait for Ryzen 3 to come out 
and that hopefully will be a better deal, but we don't know, so let's just wait for that to come out. Anyways, you guys seen the benchmarks, you guys know if it's good or not, you decide. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, or a thumbs down if you really didn't like it. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.